My name is Maria. I am from Indonesia and I am currently a second year PhD student. It is now actually my sixth year in Hong Kong as I also completed my bachelor's degree from HKUST in 2021. I have always been amazed by HKUST achievements as a young university and that is why in the first place I decided to join HKUST to pursue my undergraduate studies. Then why did I decide to continue my PhD studies at HKUST? HKUST is a leading research university in the world and by doing research at HKUST I have the opportunity to work on projects that I am really interested in with world-class faculty members and also state-of-the-art research facilities. And also during my four years of undergraduate studies I have always enjoyed the beautiful view that HKUST has and I have met a lot of wonderful and inspiring people in the strong community of HKUST. One of them is my current supervisor that I met from one of the classes that I took. And then I am really thankful that through an undergraduate research opportunity program that I joined, I could learn more about his research that really piqued my interest to become one of the PhD students in his lab. I am currently working in the field of protein engineering under, prof under Professor Faison supervision. So in protein engineering, we basically insert the modified genes into cells such as E. coli and ask them to produce the protein that we want. One of my projects is to make an injectable protein hydrogel as a novel drug delivery method to treat spinal cord injuries. In lab, I am working with lab mates from diverse academic backgrounds that has helped me a lot and have given me a lot of good advices in doing experiments. And our lab group also organize a get together sometimes like this fun hiking where our group went a hiking to the Clearwater Bay area. And I'm also grateful that I am a part of the largest Hong Kong PFS OWD community in Hong Kong. Hong Kong PFS has really given me a really generous financial support and helped me to do my research and studies without any financial worries. And you can learn more about this scheme from the HKUST website. And I really encourage all of you to try to apply for this fellowship scheme. And as postgraduate students at HKUST, we will also be given the chance to become a teaching assistant. Uh, as a teaching assistant, we will be given the chance to teach tutorial classes and grade some papers for the course. Last semester, I was a teaching assistant for one of the courses in my department in the chemical and biological engineering. And as a TA, I, I, I feel like being a TA has really helped me to improve both my communication and also teaching skills. The two skills that I believe will be very important for our future and the force. I am also a part of a hall tutor team in one of the undergraduate halls here in HKUST. At HKUST, each UG hall is guided by a residence master who is a full-time faculty member and is also assisted by a group, a group of postgraduate tutors. As hall tutors, we are responsible to ensure that our residents are both physically and mentally well. We usually do this by holding various workshops. So here are some of the examples of the workshops that my team and I did in the past two years. So we had this Chinese calligraphy workshop during the Chinese New Year week. And then we also have game night, painting workshop, origami workshop, and more. During exam period, we would also distribute some snacks for our residents. And our hall is lucky to have Luna, one of HKST therapy docs that is actually owned by my hall residence master. Our hall tutor team also does team building day in the beginning of every semester and we design hall merchandises to be distributed for the hall residents. Other than doing research and spending my time on campus, I really love to explore Hong Kong. In my opinion, Hong Kong is a really interesting place where you can go from big city to do hiking or go to the beaches within minutes. At H in Hong Kong, we can also go to museum or join cultural events during Chinese festivals to learn more about the unique culture. We can also enjoy various delicious dishes ranging from local cuisines such as hot pot or dim sum to different cuisines from other countries. I also love to hang out with my friends. 
because do, doing research for me can be sometimes overwhelming and that's why it is important for us to can to be able to find friends we can talk to about our problems and then the school engineering also organizes various gatherings such as this Christmas party where I had the chance to meet a lot of new friends. During free time, I also like to do some of my hobbies, including painting, baking, and also photography. In my opinion, doing research is a journey to see what everybody has seen and to think what nobody else has thought. And in this journey, sometimes uh, we may feel overwhelmed, but we just need to trust the process anyway and believe that one day our hard work will pay off. And if we are tired during this process, uh, it is okay to tell ourselves to take some break and learn to rest. That's all for my sharing and I hope you find it useful.